Hey guys, it's John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru. Today we're going to take a look at testing Spring uh, using the uh, JUnit uh, unit testing framework. So there's a number of options there. Uh, it's very popular to test Spring using JUnit. Uh, I use it uh, in my work all the time. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of Spring developers uh, use JUnit. It, it's pretty much the de facto standard uh, to go to when you're testing uh, Java applications anymore. So I've got a con uh, example here. You can download it on GitHub if you want to follow along. I've got it loaded up in IntelliJ right now. And it, it's a pretty simple little example of a Spring application. I've got a, a product controller here. He takes in a Spring uh, product service. Um, you can see here, I have to find it, uh, the product service using an interface, a simple implementation of my product service. I'm using the uh, repository model. And for my testing purposes, or my development purposes, I have a real simple uh, product service here. It just returns a product. So this is just a, a mock spring application that we're going to use to for our test. So now in testing, uh, there's a couple different ways, uh, philosophies in testing. I, I look at, you have pure unit tests, um, where in that, that unit test, you are not going to bring up any external services. So in, when you're using JUnit to test uh, a Spring application, if it is a true unit test, you're not going to be working with the Spring context at all. So uh, once you bring in the Spring context, uh, people will argue that your unit test is now an integration test. And I, I kind of subscribe to that philosophy as well. So here is my, my unit test uh, for testing the product service. Okay, you can see that I'm actually using the concrete implementation, the product service impl. Okay, and in JUnit, we have the before annotation. So I have a setup method uh, annotated as before. So whenever uh, a test method is run, the before uh, method is going to run. So what this does is it creates my product service, uh, instantiates a new instance of that and then injects a, a test sub, stub. So um, seeing, being that I'm demonstrating how to use a Spring uh, implementation or a Spring application, I'm doing a, a test of that. Even though I didn't have a very complex uh, application uh, before, it, in reality, if you're in some type of enterprise application, this would be an actual repository going to a database. But this is just a, a little demo data uh, code base here that I'm utilizing. So going back to my test, um, let me get back here. You can see the before uh, method will run. So when I run this, uh, right click in IntelliJ, run test product. You can see that it, it finishes green. So uh, if, I, if I were to change it, run it again, we can see that it, it would fail. So see that I'm actually getting something back. So everything's running there happily. So let's take a look at this as the same test, but as an integration test. So in this, I'm going to bring up Spring Context and have Spring manage the dependency injection. So in my unit test, I'm doing everything manually right here. I'm, I'm doing the dependency injection. So I want to change and I want to use the Spring Framework to use do the dependency injection. So the first step is going to be my test configuration. Okay, so I have a configuration class here and he's going to return a product repository. So I'm using the same test stub class that I had before, but this time uh, I have it in a Spring configuration class and returning that bean. And then I also have the product service, a uh, new product service simple. And I'm returning that as a bean. Now notice in my my method here that I, I make the bean in, I don't link that in there at all. Okay. So if you look at the actual implementation, he's expecting it to be auto-wired up uh, with a repository instance. So in this code example, we're going to use Spring to do all that management. Now let's jump down to the integration test. And by uh, by convention, uh, integration tests are typically suffixed with IT. So unit tests get test or test at the end, integration test IT. 
So that's a pretty common convention that you'll see out on the workplace. Now, um, I'm using the JUnit run with annotation. The, the run with annotation is actually an API supplied by JUnit that allows you to specify a test runner, a custom test runner. So this is where Spring has supplied a JUnit test runner class. And this is from the, the folks at Spring, and this is what allows the Spring context to uh, come up. Now, to run the context, we also have to give it a configuration. So I'm pa passing in the, through the classes property uh, the product service config cl test class, uh, the product service config that we just about looked at. And this is going to tell Spring what beans to use. And now, unlike the where I had the manual wiring before and the uh, before method that did everything, I'm using Spring. So Spring's going to manage the, the dependency injection. Now if I run this guy, this time we're going to see a lot more chatter in the, the window and uh, everything runs okay. So now I can uh, double check this, switch over to being failing test and we can see that we are getting a value back uh, from our repository. So we, we actually do get a product back from our repository with that uh, line that we're looking for. So as you uh, get further into spring development, you will see um, more complex uh, scenarios that you want to test for. You'll be mixing and matching uh, spring beans and putting in different stubs and things like that to test more uh, complex scenarios. I've had uh, literally dozens of configurations uh, being brought in to test different scenarios that I wanted to uh, test before uh, test with a configuration or continuous build server. So if you want to learn more this review is actually part of a tutorial series that I have available up on my blog at the Spring Framework Guru. Uh, please head over there and you can check that out. And if you enjoyed this video, please show us a little uh, social media love and like the video or, or go over to Facebook and like my Facebook page. Thanks a lot. This is John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru.